then. <laughs> we will not talk to your husband about that. Okay, between us, us in the room here. <laughs> Um, okay, we get mm -hmm. all right. Uh, another brilliant performance, and right? I, I have yeah. to ask you. I mean, first of all, she has so much responsibility. This woman, I just felt my heart went out for her. Mm -hmm. What was it like to be on set and play this character and be, basically be, you know, the mother on set? <laughs> she's not a mother, though. I actually take issue with that okay. because because she doesn't. She's a leader. Yeah, okay. There's a big difference, you know, because when you call a woman a mother, it's sort of a reductive kind of thing. Okay. But, you know, like you wouldn't say, if, you, if it were George Clooney in this part, you would say he was the father of them all. I would call him anything, really, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I think that's what's kind of, and what's interesting yeah. to me, too, is that she doesn't have any children. Right. Um, so you realize she has no maternal instincts. You know, she doesn't, she's, she's, she actually has this interesting relationship with her husband where mm. they have kind of, he has infantilized her, and then he accuses her of mothering him because they've, what happens is they've desexualized one another. You know, so it's more, it's kind of a more insidious, dangerous right. kind of thing. And so her, and her, and her leadership really emerges. Like you said, this thing about responsibility yeah. only emerges when when the responsibility becomes too much to bear because she doesn't acknowledge it for a really long time. She won't acknowledge it. She's yeah. completely self-involved. I'm watching this film, and the first thing that comes through my mind, obviously, is do we just take too much for granted? We absolutely take everything for granted. We take, you know, we, we take um, being warm for granted, you know. I mean, think about that. You know, we, you sit in a room, and the minute somebody feels uncomfortable with the temperature, you start to hear it. They say, I'm cold, right. or I'm hot. <laughs> and you think, like, oh, my gosh. Yeah. Nobody remarked upon feeling completely comfortable because we took it for granted. But the minute it changes and we feel some sort of sensation, we're like, where'd that go? Where'd it go? Mm -hmm. You know, so I, I think I think we take things for granted. I think we live in a state of, of uh, natural kind of denial yes. of, of things being, of anything being finite or of us being actually responsible for anything. Yeah, you and know. as humans, I think we always turn a blind eye to a lot of things we don't want to accept or see. Yeah, you know. Um, you know, it's funny with hurricane season on us. You know, when you turn on CNN, they, it's basically like on a loop about the hurricanes, right. and it, it's it's sort of it's all become so matter of fact mm -hmm. these days. And and um, and th there's this sense like, oh, who? It's okay. It just hit there, and it's not so bad. It's only Category Three, so don't worry. It might be Category, maybe you know. Yeah. So there's this sort, of, but it's all sort of mellow. Like we accept it. In, until disaster strikes, right. and we go, wow, I didn't see that coming. And you're like, but we did. We were actually tracking it. Yeah, you yeah. know, very scary stuff. Yeah. I was wondering, Julianne, if, you know, I, although you are the only seeing person in this film, mm -hmm. did you ever put yourself into their position and blindfold yourself to see what that would have been like? I did one workshop, and then I decided I didn't want to be bothered. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> you didn't. I hey, I'm not being to. paid for this. <laughs> well, because I also thought that's not, she yeah. doesn't have, I mean, she has a, a great deal of compassion for her husband because he's her husband like I said they're kind of you know interdependent in that in that way but she doesn't do anything special for anybody else until she's kind of you know until she has sort of taken responsibility for the situation um so I didn't want her I, I didn't want her to yeah. feel that way I wanted her to not know I like I, I didn't want to know yeah. so I don't want to you know in that same way that if you were the one who wasn't blind you'd be thinking to yourself thank god I'm not blind you, you probably wouldn't be as compassionate as you um, think you'd be. Yeah. You have done some difficult roles, there's no mm -hmm. question, in your career, but I have to say that rape scene, like, and, and I was talking to Fernando about it, yeah. um, you know, the more you don't see, the more your imagination yeah, yeah, goes yeah. overkill, and wow, how, you know, was that a huge challenge to get through that, and, pre you know, you can't rehearse that all day long. You can't. There's a thing that Gael did that was so remarkable, because I was really struggling you know the the we were kind of we're, we're so downplaying the language in this in this um, in this movie, um, like almost throwing it away, um, so that there aren't kind of these big speeches or whatever in the speech. Sometimes the language seems awkward, mm -hmm. um, and so we we were doing the scene with um, with this, with Yoshino and me, and where he kind of picked us and dragged us over, and he keeps saying, you know, do this, do this, and I keep saying, no, 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 and then at some a certain point, you're supposed to see something happen, and I thought, oh, how's this going to happen? And Gael did this great thing where he shoved me away, and so at that point, you have to make a decision how you're going to end the scene. So all I could do was crawl back, mm. and it was great. I was so thrilled by it because it was so incredibly brutal because he made her crawl to him to 
you know. Yeah. And and so you, and but that wasn't, you know, that wasn't pl it wasn't planned. It wasn't um, it wasn't rehearsed. Yeah. It was just it was it was reactive, which was all we could do in a scene like that. And you can and you can only do that honestly in a situation where you're. All, we're all we were all together. Everybody was working together. Everybody felt um, well a bond too. Yeah. that must have happened. Yeah, and Fernanda was very yeah. careful. You know, Cesar was very careful. Everybody was, you yeah. know, together. You know, so t that didn't feel dangerous. Yeah. Well, brilliant mm -hmm. performance. Brilliant. Yes. I always, I always love talking to you. And uh, you. Fernando says he wants to make every movie with you from here on in. He did. Honest to God. I love him so much. <laughs> I would love to make every. I mean, he he said I have a part in his next movie. I think it's a small one, but I'm like, I'll do it. Whatever. You're <laughs> there. Like, always yeah. great to talk to you. Thank, Thank you so you much. Nice and I have a huge favor to ask you. you.